Hey folks, Reloading Bench back again with you once again. And today I thought I'd cover, um, I think I'll put this in the new reloaders set of videos that I'm uh, working on. And for those of you, it's been a long weekend. It's time for a little relaxation with a chilled glass of root beer. Oh, that's good. So I thought since we spent the day at the range, um, then I did a video previously on 416 Barrett brass cleaning. I thought from a new reloader perspective, I would cover when we pick up our brass at the range, we have like a, I'll call it a scuba tank mesh bag, small enough that uh, even 22 doesn't fall through the, the little holes. But uh, when we police all our brass up and then come home, got to separate. So I'm a, and I've said this before, big fan of bins. Uh, bins come in extremely handy, especially when you're sorting brass. So what I like to do when I come home with brass and Murphy's Law says you're, you're going to come home with different calibers, more of what you didn't shoot than maybe what you did shoot, simply because there's a lot of brass laying around. And depending on your range, some, some ranges don't care if you pick up other people's brass, some, some ranges do. And we happened to be shooting next to somebody who was shooting a lot of 45. And when they went to leave for the day, he started to uh, sweep up. And I asked him, hey, do you want your brass? And he was going to toss it in the, uh, in the recycle bin for the range. And I said, if you don't want it, I'll take it. And so we always ask somebody if, uh, if they're not reloaders, if they want their brass. And when they say yes, we say thanks and bye and when they say no we ask them if, uh, if it's okay if we have it so uh, that's one easy way of grabbing brass and collecting so what I like to do is start grabbing handfuls of brass and just sorting by most obvious caliber and what we shot today 45 and 223 so those calibers should be pretty obvious. And then I usually put a bin of like garbage and other garbage, like 22 long rifle, but uh, 22 long rifle may not be the garbage round that it, uh, that it currently is simply because uh, we're going to, we're going to start reloading 22, uh, not out of necessity, but just out of uh, curiosity, simply because it's now possible to do so. So what I usually do is try and sort by caliber because then I also clean by caliber in my tumbler and I find that it's easier to sort now and clean by individual calibers than it is to uh, dump everything into the tumbler and then try and sort it after it's been tumbled because there's too many different brass sizes, especially nine millimeter, a very common round at the range that likes to tuck into 45 and the bottleneck brass, rifle brass, will tuck into everything. So I've, I personally found it's easier to pre-sort my brass. clean it, and then start my brass pep prep. That didn't come out too well. Maybe too much root beer. Too much yummy root beer. Oh, that's good. Especially after being in the freezer for a good 15, 20 minutes. And I find invariably Especially with 9mm, 40 and 45, um, we don't shoot a lot of 40, but uh, we do like to shoot 45. Very common round, and as you can see, they love to tuck in there. The 9s and the 40s love to tuck in there, as do the 22s. So this makes pretty quick work. 
of sorting. At least it does for me. Again, these are the after shooting aspects of reloading that uh, I lost one there that I actually enjoy as much as uh, shooting and reloading. Um, getting some interesting size rounds. I think that was a 380. But uh, I'll find that uh, sometimes I miss a particular round and I'll throw a 40 in with a 45 and sometimes I found that uh, it even escapes me after I've cleaned and sorted and then all of a sudden I'm trying to reload a 40. Uh, very easy to catch uh, when you're doing that on the press because nothing fits right. And we're almost done for the end here. And then I will call this video a wrap. There's an interesting biggie. I'm not sure what that is. If that's 308 or 762 by 54. But uh, it's not one that I shoot. And it's not brass. So I won't be keeping it. But uh, like I said, I'm a big fan, big fan of the bins. Bins make life uh, very beneficial. Sorry, I couldn't resist. That was pretty bad. Some steel, that'll be garbage. And it only takes a few minutes to sort and then to start throwing things into the tumbler for the rest of the night. A couple hours for each caliber. So we got some 22. Again, we're going to experiment with 22 more, more than curiosity than anything. 223. Some 45. That looks like 9-ish. Maybe mixed in with some 40s. Stuff that I really don't care about. Uh, a garbage bin that I'm going to throw away. Or rather throw in a bag and then bring to the range at the next time. And that's it. So until next time. Thanks all.